Pretty Boy Fredo, Pretty Boy Fredo. The most childish 2K YouTuber in the community right now. Childish, bro. It's crazy. Like, like I'm, I'm literally laughing here because he's just, he's that childish. A grown man in college hitting me up every single hour of the day over an intro. A intro. Notice, y'all, I'm 16 and 11th grade in high school, bro. I'm in high school. I'm just like y'all, bro. I'm in high school. I'm learning, bro. Like, like I'm still in school. He's hitting me up 11 o'clock, 4 o'clock, just every single hour of the day. And notice, after school, I had a college program to go to after that. So I wasn't getting home till 8 o'clock. But nah, Fredo wanted, he just wanted to keep on hitting me up. Yo, where the clips? Where the clips at, bro? Being annoying as hell. Like six months ago, I wanted to stop editing for this man. But I was just like, bro, I mean, I, I, it's easy money. I mean, 30 minutes of you doing some edits, it's easy money. But then he wanted to tweet out, don't ever let someone think that you need him. Obviously, if you was hitting me up, you obviously needed me, right? That's crazy. Like, if you hitting me up that many times, you needed me. Every single hour of the day, he's. I wake up to him DM me every single time. I'm waking up to him DM me, yo, where the clips at? I'm just ignoring him because I know I'm at school right now. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna keep on messaging the fool. He's annoying and childish. That's basically what he is. He's annoying and childish. A grown man tweeting this out. Can I show you how desperate people are in the 2K community for attention? And I'll expose my editor. Was I supposed to be scared? <laughs> I, like, was I supposed to be any types of scared in this situation? I'm out here just chill. I'm, I'm in school looking at all these tweets that he's putting out. And he said he asked me to do an intro days ago. But it was only one day. He says he keeps on hitting up my DMs. Obviously, I'm ignoring him because I'm in school. I'm not going to keep on messaging him throughout the day. If I'm in school right now and I'll do it when I get home. I said I gotta wait till I get home. Notice I get out at 325. He's sending me up at 4 o'clock. Think I'm gonna be home at 4 o'clock already doing the intro. I have a life, Fredo. I do things that you probably don't do. But you said that you needed. Don't ever let someone think that you need them. So if you don't need me, then why can't you put out the video? It's crazy, like, like it, it, it literally, it's crazy. You say you don't need me, but you can't put out the video without me. It, it makes no sense. And obviously, yeah, I screenshotted him being childish and annoying. To some people, I know, I mean, I'm not going to just let sit here like, bro, look at this clown trying to keep on DMing me every hour of the day. I screenshot it, I sent it to some people, and I guess my friend, he put it on Twitter, and Fredo seen it. Like, it, it, it's, it's real crazy. Like it's, it's, like, it's almost funny to me that this grown man in college is really trying to expose me on Twitter. He, 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 try, he tried to expose me, but it really didn't get anywhere. But, you know, the meat riders still going to be on them. You know, SSH till I die. You know, them type of meat riders. You know, you know they still going to be there. So, this is the tweet that he tweeted out about my friend and all that. But, my friend, he didn't know that... Um, that it was my screenshot he just got sent to by like by another friend so he just put it on twitter so like he, he basically didn't know he didn't know the whole situation so he just put it out there but i guess this is what triggered fredo so i guess this is why i don't edit for the man right now i guess that's why he like he went off or whatever he wasn't trying to give him a clout so he like blocked out his name and all that so this is just your lord and savior the clamp god at his finest that's that's basically what he what he is to y'all. He's basically your Jesus. All the Fredo meat riders. That's basically what it is. But he said I put dirt on his name and all that. But the thing about it, I never dissed the man, bro. I never dissed him at all. I never said I was gonna expose him until he put out just a couple of screenshots. He kept on tweeting every hour of the day. And I was just like, video coming soon with the laugh emoji. Cause like I, I thought it was just funny to me. Like you got it like i said a grown man in college hitting someone up in high school about a damn 2k intro and this is where this is why i just got 
I was just done with this man after this, bro. He told me, oh, I forgot to post this. It's a screenshot of me asking for $60 to $70. I'm, I'm asking to edit something for him if he needs anything done from $60 to $70. Notice that. For my Space Jams, because I got 100 for my mom, 100 for my dad, and I wasn't trying to spend out of my own bank on my birthday for some Space Jams that I wanted. So all y'all going around Twitter talking about, so you broke. I already paid for him already because he waited too long. He waited a whole two days. So I just said, forget it. I might have just paid for myself. I end up getting $80, so I don't know how it's exposed on his end any types of way. But this is just an example of the Fredo Meat Riders. You see, he's talking about I'm broke. Why are you worried about me? You're a grown man with a kid. Since you wanted to teach, I'm going to put the screenshot out there of you. With, with your son, you're afraid of meat riding. You already you you riding someone else, a grown man. You riding another grown man. Come on now, bro. You have a son and you out you out here afraid of dick riding out here, bro. I mean, I guess, but he he wanted attention, so I was gonna put it out there for him. Since he wanted to be childish, just like Fredo, I guess he, he got other childish people, grown men, on his nuts, 24/7 talking about some I'm broke. Already paid for the shoes already. I had it in my bank account. And I said I wasn't even going to drop an exposed video until he wanted to tweet the screenshots. So I said, we'll see what happens. And this is exactly what happens. I'm, I'm going to drop a video. I'm going to drop my video. Everybody else dropped their video. And But this is, this is the behind the scenes of the clamp god you assume. This is the behind the scenes screenshots of what what I have to go through when editing with Fredo. He sends me clips, I do the edit, and then he says it's bad because I missed the beat drop. I couldn't go back because all the clips were deleted off my computer, like I, I uh, cleared all the edits off of it because I was trying to make more storage on my computer. I do this like every now and then just to like make big videos or whatever. So it won't run out of storage. He wants me to redo the whole thing. I said it's going to take about 25 minutes. I lied. It's going to take like about 45 minutes to actually redo the whole thing and change it all around. But he still wants me to go through it. He said it's fine. Like I was going to redo it. But like what? He wanted me to redo the whole thing just because I missed a beat drop. Thomas it won't cut it, bro. Now, it, he ended up posting this mixtape. It's about three or four mixtapes. He wanted me to redo the whole thing. The last mixtape I, I just did, he said it was terrible. It was bad. He wanted me to use a different song. Come on now, bro. Like, like why, would I, why would I take 45 minutes to an hour for me to redo something that's already good? Like I said, I would never be obeying to Fredo. I would never meet Rod Fredo a day in my life. I never did. Because if it's something already good, I'm not going to sit here and redo it just so he can get his views up, but I'm not getting no clout off it. And the second thing, he's not even paying me enough for me to redo the whole thing. It's crazy, bro. Like, wants me to take time and redo the whole thing, and it's already a good, a good video. Now, that's another screenshot of him just being annoying. Look, are you ready? Oh, yo, bro, you doing the montage. You doing the montage, bro. Hitting me up constantly. Like I'm not out doing something. I was probably, I was probably out somewhere. I was probably at, I think I was at a friend's house. And I said, I can't even do it, bro. I, I went through a lot of stuff tonight. But I lied. Because I know I didn't go through a lot of stuff. I was just out somewhere. But still, he told me some, do it now. Where are you at? You working on... But notice, he said he doesn't need me, right? Like, he said... Don't ever let someone think that you need him, but obviously you needed me all through your YouTube career for you to post all these videos. Now this man Fredo won't get here and expose people and all that, but how you say that you a savage, but you cry half of the time you on stream, bro? You crying half of the time you on stream, bro? It's crazy in how no other videos you only have one friend in your video that's actually your age. All your other friends are in middle school, high school, elementary school, I don't know. You have no friend. You basically never, you never shown any of your friends. I want to see Fredo's friends except for Jabari. 
You see on his Instagram stories, snaps, Twitters, it's all Jabari, 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 Jabari. That is your best friend, bro. That's not your. That's not your right hand man. That that is your best friend, bro. Your best friend's not even in college. Come on now. But he tried to Sarah expose me tweeting all these screenshots and all that. Come on now. All your friends are not even over 18. It's, it's crazy. And don't, please don't even get me started with these fake pranks, bro. Everyone's seen it, guys. Everyone's seen it. You see, at 237, it's already a hole in the wall. As you see in the back, it's already a hole in the wall. But he want to skip right here to 750. And the hole's there. And he said that Jasmine did it. Come on now. Please don't give me a start. Please don't give me started with these fake pranks, bro. The PS4 thrown in the water prank. The controller's not even on. Everyone's seen it, bro. But this, but this is the best YouTuber ever. The best 2K YouTuber ever. But he done lied to y'all plenty of times, but y'all still meet riding to this day. Day in and day night. He said that he came from nothing. But his mom's house, he has a pool in the back. He has a pool in his backyard, bro. So how you come from nothing, Fredo? That's crazy. How you come from nothing, Fredo? And it's not just a pool. You know, it's not just a pool with no water in it. Filter water. Clean, clear water. Like, you can just swim in it. Well, like I said, man. That's all, that's all I had to say about my part of the story. I mean, if y'all want to go ahead and drop y'all videos, y'all thoughts about this, about the video or whatever, go ahead. Please go ahead, bro. Because this man, Fredo, like all I got to say, Fredo, you're childish, annoying. It, it's just nothing. It's just no other words to explain how this man, Fredo, is. You said you didn't need me, but you needed me on your way up. If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't probably post half of your videos. Come on now, like it's crazy, man. But like, share, subscribe, comment if you're afraid of me, ride a dislike the video.